good afternoon brothers and sisters uh today is uh, the 19th of june 2023 it's a monday i'm grateful and thankful to uh to be here with you once again been away for a couple of weeks on a family holiday it's great to be back um and uh it's a wonderful opportunity that i have today to be able to to be, to be sat with you and to be able to talk about the topic that i want to talk to you about today while i was away on my holiday um i was able to catch an interview with um stephen pinecker on mormon book reviews where he interviews uh curtis weber who is an independent researcher from utah who has been conducting research on joseph smith's anatomy since 2008 his most recent work has been done on the larson daguerreotype the proposed joseph smith photograph uh, which was announced to the world last july 21st 2022 during his interview with steve curtis tries to prove the forensic artistic and historical evidence uh, he says proves the joseph smith daguerreotype is authentic and is the prophet uh, i thought the video the the interview was um probably one of the best i've seen on Mormon book reviews whether that's because i like the subject topic i don't know but it was a really good um it was a really good interview there was some solid material that um that came out of the interview some solid evidences for me and i want to congratulate steve pinek on um on a really wonderful interview and uh congratulate him on getting these guys to come on his show um i posted a video about this subject last year where um i posted a few um of of the reasons why i thought that the the the, the new daguerreotype or photo of um of joseph smith was actually joseph smith and um it was refreshing to see that this subject hasn't gone away that it isn't one of those subjects that is 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 out fresh and in fashion and then dies away and no one ever hears of it i'm glad that this daguerreotype has not been hidden away i'm glad it hasn't been bought by the one organization within the restoration and hidden away or made the property of that organization i'm gra i'm glad and really grateful to the lord for keeping this fresh and for keeping people looking at it and doing research on it because i believe that the work that curtis weber has done forensically on this photo in years to come will prove that this daguerreotype is joseph smith i think some of his analysis were fantastic and you might ask yourself you know why is this important to um the restoration why is it important to the message why is it important to our everyday worship life uh, that we have within our organizations firstly i know people that would say that it doesn't really matter whether we have a picture of Joseph Smith. Uh, what matters is whether we believe the things he did in his life were true. And I believe that as well. I, it doesn't, I mean, I don't have an actual picture of the Saviour in my home. I have an artist's impression of the Saviour. So I don't really have a picture of the Saviour in my home. And, and it's never stopped me believing in Jesus Christ or the scriptures or the work that Christ did in his earthly ministry or beyond that even. But I think just like the Book of Mormon, it is, it is faith promoting to one's spirit type, I believe, when one can nail down certain uh, factual things about the material one is either reading or looking at. For example, in the Book of Mormon, I, I believe it's it's an essential part of our faith building exercise for us to be able to continually prove where the Book of Mormon took place and how it took place and who the people were and what, what kind of culture they lived in. 
I think that's important when you're reading a scripture. And I don't think it's any less important when we're talking about an historical figure such as Joseph Smith. Um, I think it, it it's faith promoting to know what this man looked like, to look into his actual eyes, even if it's in a picture or a photograph or a daguerreotype in this, this instant, and see what's behind those eyes to look into his facial expressions. I I find it refreshing. Um, there are lots of people out there who would say it's, it's irrelevant and I, you know they can they can they can carry on saying that you know we have lots of artists impression why, why do we need a real photograph or a real picture. <clears throat> I personally think it helps build a clearer picture of who the man was and what his mission on the earth was when you can look into an actual face of a, of a, of a person that, that close to us in history. You know, we're not talking about Jesus Christ thousands of years ago uh, or a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago. We're talking about a man who lived a couple of hundred years ago. Uh, in Joseph Smith, and who was a who 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 uh, led a normal life, and um, I think it's important that we know what Joseph Smith looked like, even if it's just to build a personal picture in one's own mind about Joseph Smith. Um, there are people who criticise Curtis Webber's work, who say that you know. This isn't Joseph Smith for, you know, all the plethora of reasons. I think on his, on his interview with Steve, he give, you know, there are twenty odd reasons why this couldn't be Joseph Smith that people have said, and uh, some of them are really inane, and uh, others are just, I think, a condition of where we come from within the Restoration. Um, I think people have built up a preconceived idea of what Joseph Smith looked like and when you see an actual photo of Joseph Smith it's not it's not the person you thought it would look like you know so you tend to have an almost instant either dislike or distancing from that photo or from that daguerreotype um, but for me um, as the leader of an organization as the leader of uh, a branch within the organisation of the Restoration. I think it's important for my people, my members and my uh, contacts to know what Joseph Smith looked like. And um, I've spent a lot of time in prayer over this subject and over this picture. And every time I see it, I see new interviews about research has been done to it. it, it it further increases my belief that this is actually Joseph Smith, that I'm looking into the eyes of um, an earthly Joseph. And um, I believe fervently, and if I'm proven wrong later, you know, so be it, but I, I believe as I'm speaking right now that this is this is the prophet joseph smith if it isn't the prophet joseph if it isn't it's somebody who looked remarkably like joseph smith and i would encourage you to watch the interview with curtis weber and stephen pinecker on mum and book reviews because you will see how unlikely it is that this is somebody else other than joseph if it is, I say it's a very good doppelganger, <laughs> and they just happen to have found someone that 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 looks exactly like Joseph Smith. The work that he did on the death mask, for instance, and the the the, the painting, the famous RLDS painting of Joseph, uh, and the features behind it, as I said in my initial interview last year, are too remarkable are too similar for this to be anybody other than Joseph Smith for me. Um, 
and uh, I enjoyed the interview with Steve and Curtis so much. So I, I when I when I was on my vacation, on my holiday, I thought I was saying I've got to do an interview about this because um, I think it's a really important issue. I think um, it's an issue that uh, as saints we should be getting involved in. And I wanted to say something from from a restored branch point of view to the world about this, not only this interview, but about this uh, about this daguerreotype. Um, you know, if you look at the pictures of the daguerreotype, the death mask, and the painting, and I'll see if I can get some pictures thrown up on here uh, so you can see. Uh, the, the there's just so much similarity, the the smile lines, the chin, the the uh, the position of the ears, the hairline, the little worry, uh, frown mark in his head, yeah, uh, which is interesting because every one of those things has it. Um, uh, the lips, the mouth, for me, it all rings true, and for me, it all is um accurate to the new daguerreotype that's been found it would be i would love and i'm going to try to see if we can get permission at the restored branch of jesus christ to um use the daguerreotype picture as an official picture for the branch but we will see how that comes out i am going to make some inquiries and I'm going to have a look and I'm going to get uh, some people on email and we'll see what we can sort out about that. Because at the moment we're using a picture by LDS artist David Lindsley for our Jesus Christ and our Joseph Smith. But I think the time has probably come for us to look at uh, a more accurate, if not more personal picture of the Prophet Joseph Smith. So we will look into that and I'll let you know how that uh, how that search goes. Um, yet again, I want to I want to congratulate Steve Pinecker on a wonderful interview. Mormon Book Reviews again has come up trumps, and um, Curtis Weber's work is just mind-blowingly brilliant. Um, and as far as the restored branch of Jesus Christ is concerned, we think it's an important issue. You should think it's an important issue, and if only. If only we could come together as a people on this issue and put aside, yet again, we're letting our organisational biases get in the way of what could be an amazing discovery. What could be an amazing discovery for the restoration? The first ever real photo, genuine, provable photo of Joseph Smith. And we can't get together over this issue. It's sad. It, it breaks my heart to know that, that still, in the 21st century, we cannot put our differences aside as a people and come together over something as simple as a photo of Joseph Smith or a non-photo of Joseph Smith. Let's put all of our organisational resources, whatever they may be, big or small, behind finding out whether this is actually Joseph Smith. Let's look at people like Curtis Webber and the work he's done and let's have a look and let's see if his work is credible. Let's, let's do it and not from an organisation or buyer's point of view. Let's come at it as a people, excuse me, who want to know the truth. Why can't we do that? Why are we continually held back by our organisational and cultural biases because it, it gets us nowhere brothers and sisters it's gotten us nowhere with the book of mormon in 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 decades and decades and decades and decades hundreds of years of infighting it's got us nowhere there's some great work being done by uh by individuals and and of course the book of mormon rally and symposium that took place recently in in missouri organized by some very very dear friends of mine is a wonderful initiative and it's fantastic that they're getting people i know steve spinek has spoken uh, uh, at the rally 
and they're getting people from all over to come and that's great that's wonderful work <clears throat> um but you know um I, I think this is an important issue with this this daguerreotype it's found in a locket that's come through very few people from emma smith surely it's worth investigating surely it's worth us putting aside our differences to come together over trying to find out instead of as good as he is individual people like this curtis weber where's the where's the backing from the organizations where's the backing where's the backing from 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 you know prominent leaders over this issue but i, I just find it uh frustrating that we still aren't coming together on anything you know let alone a, a picture a photograph of the prophet joseph smith i mean you would have thought wouldn't you the the founder uh the first prophet of our faith uh our restored faith uh we can't find um unanimity on we can't find uh, neutral ground to come together on. I think it's sad. Uh, however, the, the daguerreotype and the photo are out there <laughs> and they're going to stay out there and they're going to keep circulating. And eventually, eventually this story will become too big for big organisations and small organisations alike to, 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 to ignore. And I, I think it'll, it'll, it'll come into people's homes, it'll come into their personal lives. And I think that's a good a good thing because it'll stop and make you think well what's being done about this why hasn't why haven't my branch or why haven't my organization done anything about uh about this this supposed photo um i, I find it really not disheartening because i know steve's doing a lot of great work over moment book reviews but he's not he is not a believer he's not uh, is not involved as a member of any restoration organisation and it's taking his channel mainly uh, I know other people are covering this but taking Steve I mean he's done a couple of interviews on this now to really push this and I'm like why 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 should it be left up to, to Mormon Book Reviews to push this Where where are the other Mormon podcasts and uh, video based interview processes where are they where are they uh so if you haven't found curtis weber and you haven't looked at this daguerreotype and you do run a mormon or latter-day podcast or whatever you want to call yourself get onto it now because this is a hot topic story and it's not going away anytime soon get onto it now have a look at it and i'm gonna see if i can get a picture of it up on here to finish with so you can look at this photo because i'm telling you i'm telling you that that all the evidence points to this being joseph smith the prophet of the restoration the translator of the plates the bringing forth guy of the book of mormon the 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 the, the prophet who built the temple in kirtland who established a zion who built Nauvoo, who was shot at, 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 at Carthage and betrayed by his friends. This is the guy you are looking at who did all those things. Uh, that concludes my um, video on the daguerreotype for this year, at least until we find some new information. Uh, but please take a look at Steve Pinecker's interview with Curtis Webber on Mormon Book Reviews. Uh, listen to what this guy is saying because, you know, it's pretty good. Um, and uh, stay safe. Stay faithful. Look after one another. It's a crazy day as we're living in people. Crazy, crazy times. And... Um, and keep your eye out because you know within the restoration there's always something new coming about that you can talk about and you can you can uh, influence people with so um until next time brothers and sisters stay safe god bless and i will see you soon
Bye-bye.